Hello everyone, and welcome to the PoE Stack Alpha. My name is Zach, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the tool to more easily price and sell your items on PoE. Here's my profile from Sanctum, tracking a bunch of my tabs. You can see my value over time changing, and some of the highest valued items. You can easily sort these by tag. Let's take a look at all of my essences. Cool. You can see that the total value of my essences is now 3.19. If we add in maybe incubators, you can see it go up a bit more. And down here, you can already see a breakdown by tag to see where the equity is in your stash tabs. Uh, here's the total value changes over time for this profile since its existence. But most of the interesting part of the tool is in how we export and use this data to more easily sell things. Uh, to give you some insight here, I'm gonna create a profile from scratch. Let's head over here and name it Gumball plus Compasses. Uh, it's going to be in Sanctum League, and I'm going to leave it as public so I can share it with other people more easily. Uh, select some of the Gumball stuff that I might want to sell off. And let's do Incubators, and then also throw in the Compasses that I might want to sell on TFT. Save that profile, head in, and take a snapshot. Should take a few seconds. And we can now see that we've got all the items tracked, and we can see the breakdowns by tag. Okay, so I usually like to sell my gumball currencies using the form shop. So let's uh, start by selecting the ones that I want to sell. The fragments sounds good. The um, essences, and probably the um, incubators. Cool. Let's export this to the form shop. We can see that the value multiplier, if we increase this by a bit, it adds a markup to each item, same if you decrease it. So let's increase it so I don't get too many whispers right now. Copy this and head over to the form shop. Let's paste this in. Some of these are too low value for me to want to execute right now, so let's just bump this up and submit this. You can see that it's always priced these out so that um, the whole stack would be sold in a single trade found this to be pretty useful to spend less time doing these trades. Uh, the other thing that we wanted to list was our compasses. I usually sell those on TFT, so let's switch over to the compass tab. Keep the same uh, markup, but add in our in-game name so we can get whispers. Copy that message and go over to the compass area. Again, I don't want to be executing super low value trades right now, so let's just cut out the lower ones. And I'm not going to send this because I'm not ready to be actually doing these trades right now. See that we're probably already getting some messages to buy our essences from the form shop. Cool. Uh, the last export that I want to show is how you guys can work with some of this data yourself. So if you select the CSV option and copy this, you can just paste it into most sheets type uh, programs. In sheets, if you split it by text like that, it'll break it out into columns, and you can see that we've got the key, the tag, and the value chaos, along with the quantity. Uh, this will let you pretty easily work with the shared data yourself and do any calculations you might want to do or anything else. If you do have ideas for features that you would like us to add, uh, we have a Discord. Uh, I would love for you to join and give me any bug reports or issues having or feature ideas, and I will definitely, definitely take those into account. Um, if you're interested in how we get these prices, you can come over to the economy tab. Uh, we're tracking a ton of different things, including stuff like compasses, logbooks, heist contracts, value over time. This all comes from the official GGG API. Uh, all of the public stash tab changes are tracked, and then some filtering is done to try to remove price fixers. Um, if we go over to Atlas Memories, you can see that we have the correct price, not one divine for Einhard's harvest memories. Uh, that being said, if you run into any issues with this as well, I would love to hear about those so we can continue to work to make the system better. Let's just take one last look at the profile. You can see all the values and the total net worth over time. Uh, I hope this tool provides some use to you guys and would love to hear your feedback. Have a good rest of your day.